Okay, so today we are going to solve for unknown angles again, but now with angles in a triangle. So let us review what we have seen so far. Here, all right, let me zoom in just in case, okay. Here they want us to find the measure of angle X. Okay, so in the figure to the right, in this figure right here that you cannot see, explain your calculations. And then it says, hint, draw an auxiliary line segment. Oh, sure, of course. All right, so find this angle right here. So what I'm going to do, since the hint says to draw an auxiliary line, I'm going to draw an auxiliary line that, of course, will be, I mean, not exactly, but we tried the best, will be parallel to the other two lines. So this is the symbol of parallel, okay? Now, let's see. If this angle is 35 by the corresponding angles postulate, we know that this angle right here is also 35 because because of corresponding angles. See that? And now, because this is 35, I'm going to introduce something called the partition property of equality, meaning that the whole is equal to the sum of its parts. So if this is 35, then this angle right here should be what? 37 right okay and now what now this this angle is corresponding angles with this one so the measure of x okay the measure of x is 37 so remember the new property that I just introduced it's called the partition property the whole is equal to the sum of its parts okay so now that's it okay now it says explain in writing what i did sure so i'm gonna, I'm gonna do this so i'm gonna write measure of angle x okay measure of angle x equals 37 and then it says that what, what do we do? Okay, let me zoom out just for you to see a little bit. Hopefully you can, I'm not gonna zoom out at all, like all together, but I'm gonna try my best. Okay, so it says that the angle, the angle, I'm gonna do angle like this, okay. The angle with the measure of 72 degrees okay can be divided into two angles two angles and we did that when we drew the auxiliary line all right so, because of corresponding angles, okay, one angle, one angle measures thirty five degrees, uh, thirty five degrees, and we're gonna just make sure that we detail what we, but we know how we got it. So we got it because of corresponding angles. Okay, that's it. Now the other angle, then, okay, comma, then the other angle has a measure measure of 37 degrees why well we note that it's because of the partition postulate okay so now partition or partition property of equality once again, partition postulate. The whole is equal to the sum of its parts. All right, cool then, let's move on.
All right, so let's let's have a discussion here of facts that we already knew in the past and that we still know, I hope. All right, so it says that some of the three angles, sorry, the sum of the three angle measures in any triangle is 180 degrees. Okay, now, let's see. Um, a point lies in the interior of a triangle if it lies in the interior of each of the angles of the triangle. Of course, if it's an angle inside the triangle, then it lies inside, right? Now, in any triangle, the measure of the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the measure of the angles. What? In any triangle, the measure of the exterior ang angle is equal to the sum of the measures of the... Oh, I see. I gotta fill. I gotta. I gotta fill in the blank of the opposite of the opposite interior. Wow, I cannot write opposite interior angles. Okay, opposite interior angles. Okay, what else? Oh, it says angles right here. So I just had to. Uh, oh, okay. I just had to write opposite interior. Okay, cool then. Okay, these are sometimes also known as, and I'm sorry I put this so little, but these angles are called remote angles. Remote angles. Okay, now to give you an example of it, it's like this. If you have a triangle and you extend this side right here, this angle right here is going to be equal to the sum of this angle and this angle. This is what we call the remote angles. Okay? And it makes sense. Because the three angles in a triangle add up to 180. Right? And this one right here and this angle are a linear pair. So they also add up to 180. So let's say this is 100, right? Then this is 80. Okay? This is 40. Let's say this is 40. So I have 120. So that means that this is 60. That's 180. And look, 60 and 40 is 100. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, we're going to get into detail later in the lesson. All right. So base angles of an whatever triangle are equally measured. We're talking about the isosceles triangle. How do, you, how do I write isosceles? Oh, yeah, I remember. of the isosceles triangle. Okay. Each angle on a blah, 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 triangle has e a measure of equal to 60. Okay. This is easy. Equilateral triangle. Okay. The equilateral triangle, all sides are equal. And since the angles, all three angles equal uh, sum to 180, then each angle is 60 degrees. All right. So we have uh, vocabulary. Okay. You could just read that on your own. I'm going to leave it here for you to see. Okay, you can read it now. Okay, now you pause it, continue reading. Now let's move on to the... Let's move on to the hardcore part of this lesson. Where we do examples. So let's see now. Uh, let's see now. Okay. So now okay right here so it says find the measure of angles a and b in the figure to the right justify your result okay i need to find a and b so let's see now a i know that this is a triangle so the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 so therefore 69 plus 58 okay subtract that from 180 and you get 53 okay now Guess what? Angle B is also part of a triangle. So I have 53, I have 58, and plus B, they should sum to 180. So 53 plus 58, okay? Hmm. Something is not right. Let's see. Let me see, 9 plus 8 is 7, so that's 53. 
That's 111. Oh my God, don't tell me. Don't tell me. It makes sense. Whoa, 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 what is this? Okay, whatever. All right, so let me see if I'm correct. Bear with me for a second, and if you can figure out the value of B, please do so right away. Okay, I'll let you know. I think it's 39, I'm not sure. But let's see. Yeah, I think it's 39. But, we don't know that, so... Let's see, 53, I'm gonna add it up in here. It says 53, let me see, 69, okay. This is a triangle right here. And I have 53. All right, this is an exterior angle. So this angle should equal to the sum of this angle and this angle. Ah, okay. So that makes B equal to 40. Yeah. Nice. I got it. Okay. So I think we got it. So because 40 plus 53 is 93. So that's it. So then, okay. So that's it. Now, what am I justifying my result? Sure, the exterior angle of any triangle is equal to the sum of the two remote angles. See that? Okay then. Now, what else do I need to do? But then again, I'm, I'm, you know why I'm confused? I'm confused because this, is, this seems to be a triangle. Oh no. Or yes. It seems to be a triangle. Oh, I see. Then, but this triangle right here, the angle is not just this. The angle is this whole thing. Oh, okay. So, if this is 93, okay, this cannot be 58. We need to find the measure of this angle right here. Okay, I could do that. I mean, this is extra, but I'm just, I just want to do it. So, 93 plus 58 right that's 151 so that means that this angle is 29 oh, okay nice 29 so now we could talk about it 53 plus 29 it's 82 right I'm sorry this angle right here sorry 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 uh, this is nothing more than 58 plus 29 that's 70, 87. 87 plus 3 is 90. Plus 50, that's 140. So yes, that makes this 40. Wow, that was, that was quite the angle right here. All right, so let's move on to the next problem. I hope you could actually see this one. All right, so here, they want me to determine, determine the measure of the angle. So what do I know? I know that this angle right here, the exterior angle in a triangle, is equal to the sum of the two remote angles or two non-adjacent. Non-adjacent means that they don't share the same vertex. Okay, so that means that A is 36, okay, because 42 plus 36 is 78, and boom. Now, was there another way to find A? Yes, that was the long way, which basically uh, you find with known facts. Like, for example, you have an angle of 78, correct? Okay, so if this is 78, then that makes this angle 102, correct? Now, if this makes 102, okay, this is the only, this is the missing angle. This plus this is 180, and this plus the sum of these two is also 180. That's why they say that this one is equal to the sum of these two remote angles. I hope you understand that. All right, so what reason am I gonna give? Easy the exterior angle 
of a triangle. Okay, you write the word triangle. I'm just trying to like uh, write it short. The exterior angle of a of a triangle equals equals the sum of the two of the two opposite angles. Okay. Now let's see if we can find the measure of angle B. Well, angle B is an exterior angle. And they are telling me that these two sides are congruent. If these two sides are congruent, that means that this is an equilateral triangle. You see that? And what do we know about the equilateral triangle? Well, angles opposite to congruent sides are congruent. So if this is 68, then this is also, sorry, this is also 68. This is hard to do, folks on the camera. Okay, so 68 is 68. Now, I don't need to figure this out. I'm not trying to find the, the missing angle inside the triangle. I'm trying to find the exterior angle. And we know that the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent. It's equal to the sum of the two remote angles. So what is 68 plus 68? 136. Okay, and the justification. Well, first we figure out that it was an isosceles triangle. So what we're gonna write is that the base angles of an isosceles triangle okay are equal in measure okay and then what concept did we use that the sum of the angle oh, well actually I use the concept that the exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum of the two opposite angles. But in this case, we could have also found it the same way we I told you, right? That if this is uh, 68 and 68, okay, one, that's 136, then that means that this angle right here is 44. And since these are linear pairs, they add up to 180. Therefore, this is 136. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So the sum of the angle of the angle measures in a triangle equals 180 degrees. See that? And then and then I go on to say that linear pairs add up to 180 or linear pairs are supplementary. So linear, I know I'm doing all the extra work, but this is another way which you can actually do it. Remember, there's many ways. So linear pairs sum to 180 degrees or are supplementary or form supplementary angles. Okay, let's find a measure of C. Okay, this is the measure of C. Let's see now. Okay, hopefully you can see right there. All right, the measure of C. This is a triangle. This is a right angle. Okay, how am I going to figure out what the measure of C is? Oh, I get it. Let's take a look at the bigger triangle right here. So we know that the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180. I got 90 right here, the big triangle. I got 90 and here I got 64 so that's 154 right that's 154 so all I gotta do is take that from 180 and we Gucci so that's 26 so measure of angle C is 26 now they want me to find a measure of angle D well that's easy as well all right, so this is a linear pair, right? So if this is 95, this is 80. Let me see. 
no, let me see. Yeah, 85. So because they form 180. So now I got 85 and 64. So all I gotta do is add them up. So 85 plus 64 is 149. So I got 149 taken away from 180, okay. And that is 31. Okay? Now you know your justification, you know what you use, okay? Look, your justification. The sum of the measures in a triangle, uh, sorry, the sum of the angle measures in a triangle is 180, okay? Then you use the justification of linear pairs. Okay, so yeah, 180, so you had two angles. You had this one and this one, so this one is 26. Then to find D, you use the concept of linear pairs, okay? Linear pairs right here, there's a straight line 180, so linear pairs are supplementary, form supplementary angles or add, add up to 180 or sum to a 180 degrees, however you want to say it. All right, but make sure you write the justification. Uh, let's try to move forward a little faster. All right, so now what do we have? Measure of angle E. Okay, measure of angle E. What do I know? Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, we know that linear pairs form supplementary angles, right? So if this is 115, this is, uh, no, is this the one I might be using? 30, um, let me see. Oh, okay. No, I don't know. So let's see now. I'm just gonna browse around with this and see how this works. So this 115, this is 65. Oh, okay, got it. 65. So then, if I know this is 65, okay, then I gotta figure what this is. So 65 plus 34 is 99, right? That's 99. So this is 99. And the sum of the angles is 180. So now, this has to be 81. My God, okay, 81. Now, if this is 81, okay, what else do I need to know? Wow, I got 34. I need this angle right here. So it's like, hmm, it's funny. Because, let me see, how am I going to do this? 34, 81, okay. And now I have, okay, linear pairs. This is 30. Oh my God, if this is 65, then this is 65 as well. Right? Because of linear pairs. Now, Oh my God, I didn't have to do all this. Look, I didn't have to find this, but anyway, leave it like that. But all I had to do was linear pairs form 180. So this is 115, this is 65, because basically I need this angle to find this other angle, right? Okay, so now 30, 65, that's 95. So that means that this angle is 85, right? And if this angle is 85, then this angle is 95. Does it make sense? Yes. And look, this could be like the exterior angle of this little triangle. Anyway, now I got 115 and I got 95. Okay, so now look at the bigger triangle right here. The sum of the angles in this triangle is 180. So I got 95 and I got 34. That's 129. Therefore, this angle E is 51. Wow. Now, what is the justification? Linear pairs, okay, form supplementary angles. So that's what you write. Supplementary angles. Uh, what's the other one that you use? The sum, okay. of the angle measures
in a triangle equals 180. Please make sure that on the test you write the whole thing. Right now it's just that I'm showing you a couple of things like symbols for angle and triangle. All right, measure of angle F. Okay, measure of angle F, actually I can figure out, let's see. You want me to make it larger? I can make it larger, there you go. Okay, How measure of angle F. How am I gonna do this? If I can find the exterior angle, oh wait, if I can find this angle right here, I can say an exterior angle and then is equal to the sum of these two angles. Oh, oh my God, I forgot the fact that these lines are parallel. If these lines are parallel and these are transversal, then these and these are corresponding angles. So this is also 78. Ah, oh, okay. So then the measure of angle F is 30. Because 30 plus 48 is 78. Oh, okay. So then 30. Why? Well, first we use the facts that these angles are corresponding angles. Okay. So <clears throat> this is how you're going to write. This is the full explanation. If, okay, if parallel lines are cut by a transversal then okay if and then then corresponding angles are equal in in measure if parallel lines are cut by a transversal then corresponding angles are equal in measure Okay, so now let's find the measure of angle G. Wait, 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 I didn't, oh no, that's just one of them. The other one, what, what else do we use? Oh, we use, well, in the book, they actually use linear pairs. They say 78, so then this is another thing, okay? And then they use this. You want me to show you what they use in the book, which I don't want to use? If this is 78, then how much is this? Okay, that's 102. So this is 102. And now the sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180. So then you just add this and this, and you get your uh, one, one, blah, 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 150. And then you, this one has to be 30. All right? Me, I'm not going to write that. Because basically, I figured out that this was an exterior ang an exterior angle of this triangle, so this should be the same as the sum of these two. So all I needed was 30, and added 48, and I got 78. So then, what am I gonna write as a as a justification? Easy. Okay. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent or if you want to write the two remote angles as simple as that okay all right let's find measure of angle g All right, the measure of angle G. So what do I know? If this is 94, then this got to be 82. And I am wrong. Definitely wrong. Not 82, but 86, right? So this is 86. Okay, sorry. Now, these lines are parallel these lines are parallel okay mm. if these two lines are parallel then these are alternate interior angles so this is also 57 
Yes. Okay then. So now we can figure out what the measure of let me see what else, what else, what else, what else? We can figure out what the measure of this angle is. So let's see, 57 plus 86, okay, is 143. Take that from 180 and you get 37 degrees. Okay, now if this is 37, okay. Actually, you know what? I just realized something. This angle right here, it's an extension of this side right here. So this angle should be equal to the sum of these two, 57 plus 86. Or no, let me see now. Anyway, let, let, us, just, let us just do it. So 37. <clears throat> so what is the measure of this angle right here? Well, 57 plus 86 is nothing more than 143. So this is 143. This is an extension of this, of this triangle. You see that? So this should be the sum of these two. If not, then I just go like 37. So then here, this is gotta be 143. And since vertical angles are congruent, then this is 143. So many beautiful ways of proving, you know, your statements. All right, so measure of angle G is 143. What did I use? I use alternate interior angles, okay? But but listen, I'm writing alternate interior angles, but in reality, what you gotta write is the following. If parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate interior angles are equal in measure, okay? That's what you gotta write. But since we already know that, then I'm gonna allow you to just do this. So alternate interior angles. Then what, what else did I use? I used linear pairs. Okay, so you write the whole thing. Linear pairs are supplementary. All right, and last but not least, I use the sum of the angles in a triangle, okay? Look, the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180. So you write that down, okay? The sum of the angles in a triangle equals 180, 180 degrees. All right, measure of angle H. Well, I'm gonna tell you the measure is 127. Now, how do you know that? Mm, it would be nice if you draw an auxiliary line. That's all I'm gonna say right now, okay? If you draw an auxiliary line, then you'll see why. So, you wanna do that? Let's do this. Okay, what just happened? I just created, uh, let me see now, oh sorry, it's created, I just divided this angle into two, right? So now what do I know about this? Is that the auxiliary line that I was supposed to draw? Mm, not sure, let me see how much more do we have left. Oh. Wow, I always get stuck on the last thing. Okay, 25, no, on a sphere line, it doesn't work that way. I'm supposed to find measure of angle H. I divided this into two angles, but it doesn't say anything about power lines. So maybe this is not what I was supposed to do. So then where the auxiliary line should be then? Let me see now, auxiliary line. Okay, maybe right here, like that, to make one big triangle, I'm not sure. If that's what it is, let's see. So
So this angle right here, okay, this angle right here is the sum of these two. So that's 97. I'm not sure why am I doing this, but okay. So now if this is 97, then this right here, okay, should be the since this, this, and this form 180 degrees, then I got 127 degrees right there, right? So 180 minus 127, that's 53. So this, wait, 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 wait. 120, yeah, yeah. So this is 53 degrees. Okay, how is that helping me? I really don't know. Anyway, let's figure out what this angle is. So this angle is 30 plus 92, plus 72. Remember that this is the exterior angle of this triangle right here. Hopefully you see it. Okay, so this exterior angle is equal to the sum of this. So this is 102. So 102 and this right here, this whole thing is 180. So 102 plus 25 is 127. Oh, wow. So this angle is also 53. Right. Okay. And now, let's see. 53 plus 53 is 106. Right? 106. It doesn't make any sense. This cannot be 74. Okay, this is 102. This is 97. 97. Oh, wait. Okay, 97. Plus 30 is 127. 127. Okay, I'm having a hard time believing this. 50, 50, that's 106. That makes this angle 74. Okay. Uh, no. No, it's not helping me. Okay, thumb, thumb, that's 180, thumb, thumb. That's, this is also 180. What am I missing? This is an exterior angle of and ah, que bruto. Right, I made a mistake. Okay, ninety-seven is not okay. I made a big mistake, and I'm gonna show you why is my mistake. I was saying that ninety-seven is equal to the sum of the two remote angles, but this is not a remote angle. This whole thing is the remote angle. And this whole thing is the remote angle. Okay? So then, how am I gonna go about it? An auxiliary line. If I draw an auxiliary line, like in, because this is a diagram. It's a one, two, three, four sides. One, two, three, four. So 30, 72, this, and the oh forget it i got it okay i think so this angle right here so this thing has four sides so if it has four sides this thing has to be <coughs> sorry this thing has to be 360 degrees so here i got 102 okay plus 25 is 127 127 okay 127 From 360 is 233 degrees. 233. So this angle is 233. I'm still having a hard time believing this. Okay. You know what? I am going to try a different auxiliary line. This 233. Okay. This angle right here. Okay, this is not 97, definitely it's not 97. And this is not 102. So how am I gonna figure that out? Okay, 
this is supposed to be 127. How am I finding 127 over here? Okay. Linear pairs. So if I was to extend this line right here, it will still not help me. So how am I supposed to draw an auxiliary line? Okay. Maybe right here. Okay, don't don't mind me, okay? I'm just trying. So now this try okay, you saw what I did, right? Alright. So I drew this, I extended this line. So this now is a triangle. So 72 and 30 is 102. 102 from 180, okay? What is 180 minus 102? 78. This angle right here is 78, and I really know that it's 78. Now, if this angle right here is 78, and these are linear pairs, then how much is this angle right here? Right, is 102. Okay? Now, if this angle is 102, and I already have 25, that's 127. So what is this angle right here? 53, right? Yes, now, now I get it. And 53, and since this is a straight line, then angle H is 127, okay? And that's it. I hope you learn from my mistakes, and I hope you learn something about this diagram, okay? Because it got me confused. Well, that's to show you that sometimes it's good to have the answers, but it, it's better to have the explanation. All right. So what is my justification? Well, look, I extended this line. So I drew, okay, so draw an auxiliary line. An auxiliary line, okay? And then use the facts that linear pairs form supplementary angles. Supplementary angles. And what else did I did I use? Oh yeah, that the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180. Okay. So I also use the sum of the angle, sorry, oh my god, what an ugly symbol, of the angle measures of a triangle or in a triangle. equals 180 degrees okay cool thing all right let's see what else do we have here i think we are almost done all right um let me see i think I, let me see is this your quiz okay let me see 15, let me see, da, 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 your quiz, uh, quiz, mm, no, okay, anyways, so, here, I'm supposed to find a measure of angle I, I have no idea what I'm gonna do, let's see now, these two lines are parallel, so let me just extend them, okay, now I know. All right. So let me see now. This is the interior, right? So this is also 125. And okay. If this is 125, okay, this is, um, let me see, 65. It's 55. Okay, 55, because they add up to 180. 
Now look at this. Oh my God, look at this. I can extend this a little more and now I have a linear pair. So if this is 115, okay, then what is this measure? Well, this, must, this measure must be 65. Okay, 65, because that's 180. And now the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180. So 65 plus 55 is 120. So therefore this angle I is 60, 60 degrees. Okay, so everything that I use, that's what you write as your justification. Okay, alternate interior angles. So you could write, if two lines, okay, oh, oh, when, sorry, when parallel lines, if parallel lines, look, let me help you. If parallel lines, I write parallel, parallel lines are cut by a, okay, by a transversal, by a transversal, then, then alternate interior angles are equal in measure. So that's one of them that, that we use, right? So we use alternate interior angles. Then we use the concept of linear pairs, okay? Linear pairs are supplementary. And then we use the sum of the angle measures in a triangle equals 180 degrees. So you write that down. All right, cool then. Now let us go into this one. So what is the measure of angle J? All right, we know that this is a linear pair, but we don't know anything about this. So we could substitute this one, right? 180 minus this, but that's gonna be very difficult. So all we know, all we need to know is that this is an exterior angle, okay? An exterior angle of this triangle because this line is extended. So I know that the exterior angle in a triangle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent or two remote angles or two opposite angles, however you wanna call it. So all I'm gonna do is do some algebra. So I know that five X minus three plus four X minus two, okay, equals the exterior angle, 10 X minus 20. And now I solve the equation. So 5x plus 4x is 9x, okay? Negative three plus, uh, plus negative two is negative five, okay? Now what? That equals to 10x minus 20, okay? So now I have variables on both sides, so I'm going to get rid of that. So I subtract 9x from both sides, that leaves me with one x in here minus 20, okay, and this is negative five. Now I'm gonna add 20 to both sides and I get X equals to 15, okay. So now all I have to do is substitute right here, okay. So let's see now, actually it's easier over here. Five times 15 is, oh no, 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 no. Let me just do this one, all right. So 10 times 15 is 150. 150 minus 20 is 130. So this angle right here is 130. And since this is a linear pair, then this is 50. So measure of angle J is 50 for the reasons given, okay? What were the reasons given? Easy. The exterior angle of any triangle is equal to the sum of the two remote angles, the two non-adjacent. Okay, so since I knew that, then I set up the equation. I solve for x, x plus 15, and all I had to do was either plug in the x in this angle, in this angle, figure out what the measure is, and then I know that the sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180. Or I could just plug it in here, okay, get my angle measure, and since I know that linear pairs are supplementary, whatever I get here plus this should be equal to 180. Hope you understood. All right. Oh, measure of K. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Okay, I know that these two sides are congruent. Therefore, this angle and this angle are congruent. Okay, 
So this is 56. So 56, right? So I take 180 minus 56 is 124. So there is 124 degrees flying between these two. Now, guess what? <clears throat> that means that each of these angles, like the full angle right here, okay, is equal to 62. So this angle is 62 and this angle is 62, but I'm not gonna go yet on what this angle is. Okay. Oh, maybe I can. Or maybe I cannot. Let's see now. These two sides are also congruent. That means the angles opposite to those sides are congruent. So this is also 62. Aha. Uh -huh. Now what? Well, now let's just take a look at this little triangle right here. 62 and 62 is 124. Therefore, this angle K is 56. Okay, so angle K is 56. And how are you gonna justify that? Uh, easy. Well, you were given two congruent sides in a triangle. So if we, if we know that angles opposite to congruent sides are also congruent. So this big angle is also 62. Okay, not this one, this one is 56. This whole thing is 62. Then we figure out that this side is also congruent to this side because of the hash mark. So opposite angles, okay, are also congruent because angles opposite to congruent sides are congruent. Boom. And then I know that the sum of the angles, okay, in a triangle is 180. So that's what you write to justify your calculations. All right, so that's it for this lesson. All right, the next time is going to be even worse because we're going to be writing proofs. So until next time, okay? Bye-bye.